how to trade with loan charts. And that's exactly what I'm going to share today. Now, many of you may be trading with a simple price chart like you see here now on the EURUSD on a weekly time frame. Now, price charts will work very, very well. But today I want to share how you can also use a line chart to trade with. I'm going to go through some steps on the best way to use line chart. So first, let's go over to that line chart. So when looking at a line chart, the simplest way you can look at line chart is using market structure. Now, if you're not sure market structure, there is a full playlist on this channel. It goes through all the market structure videos to help teach you those concepts. But simply what we can look at here is we can identify where the market okay, breaks up, pulls back, breaks up, pulls back, breaks up. So we have a bigger swing here, fails to break out. We continue to go lower. Okay, we can see the swing pattern. Now we can't really see that color. Let me just change that to a red so you can see the difference. We have a swinging pattern. So we can use the line chart for those swings. It's the best way to do this. We zoom into this current area of price and we can do this on any time frame. So we look at this move down here. Okay. We can just look at this last area here. We can mark a level here. What this signals is a break to downside. Okay. So we've broken to the downside. This is zoom in even more. Now, before that, and if you don't understand the term of liquidity and sweeps in the market, there is going to be a full playlist as well in this channel. We can identify this swing high here was swept here to the right. So you can see that we had this push down again, this broke structure here. And all of this, we're just using a line chart. And we're not even using price in the chart. Now, what does the line chart represent? It represents the close price of a current candle. And we'll see that when we go to the chart in a moment. So what we have is we have the breaker structure here to downside. Okay. So we've created this low in the market, pushed back, we swept above this high. And that is where you'll find a sweep entry and you target to break this low and the market pushes down. That is how you will use the line chart with understanding structure in the market. And again, we can identify when we get down here, we create that pullback and we have another break to the downside. And even here, we have some equal highs created. We may see a sweep here with a potential wick to the upside. Now, on the way down here, we also create areas of potential imbalance. And again, if you're not sure of imbalances, go through the full playlist in the channel, covers all of the imbalance concepts. And again, if we just mark this out, we have a push down, we have a pullback, we have a push lower. We have a sweep. Okay, as long as it doesn't close through, continue up. It's just a sweep. We break lower, pull back, break lower, pull back, and we break lower and we pull back. And obviously, we continue down. So we can identify here. Look, we have another break here to the downside. Now, if I move that arrow system, we can see again that we have another break here to the downside and another break here. To the downside until eventually we reverse structure here to the upside. Now, all of this information I've just got when looking at a line chart, we're not even looking at the candlesticks. This will help you just to quickly identify a directional bias. So, if we just go to the price chart here quickly, and we can now see what happened. We can see that we actually swept through this level, pushed up, pushed back down with this bearish candle continue down and then we broke this structure again push through okay made this low here pull back made a sweep here and then we broke structure here again with this bearish candle and then we continue down we make this low we pull back and we're just pulling back into the oven balance here push down and we broke through once again we made this low we pull back lower high again inside the area from balance. We then pushed lower, broke this structure again. And again, we create this low, we pull back into where again, an area of imbalance. We then pushed lower, made this low, and eventually we broke structure here with a new bullish imbalance. We're just looking at the closed prices here. Remember what I said is closed prices when we're using a line chart. We're not looking at the wicks, we're just looking at the closed prices. If you look at the wicks, is a different perspective. Sometimes you're going to find different breakouts by using the wicks. 
Now, the wicks will work just as well as the use of the line chart. But the idea of the line chart and trading it is, hey traders, we'll get back to the video in just a moment. But I wanted to give you a gift for hanging out with me today. I want to give you access to my Telegram community. This trading community will share my chart markups and give you access to my trading strategy. But it's more than just a community. You're going to have some actionable steps to accelerate your growth. We've hanging out with other like-minded traders, all looking to improve their trading. And it's free as my gift to you. So just hit the link above now to join the telegram community now back to the video just to simplify your trading to quickly identify you can always look at the wicks afterwards but it's going to help you to quickly identify those breaks in the market and where price is going so you can see by using that line chart you can quickly identify the directional bias and a reversal of the market that's a very simple procedure using a line chart we can do this as well. I just remove all of this now. We can also do this on another time frame. So let's go down to a 15 minute time frame. And we'll just zoom out. Let's go to current era of price. We're looking at a current era of price on a 15 minute time frame. We could do the exact same thing. We can see we had a break here to the upside. We had another break here to the upside. We're going to ignore these small areas. We look at the major swings here in the market. We then broke here to downside. We did have a small pullback continuation there. And that's a sharp, quick pullback continuation. Again, it's going to be more of a full swing to downside there for me. And we were looking at this as our swing low, which then gets broken once again. So we wouldn't use this as a level. So understanding the line chart gave okay, the break of structure. You can see by marking this out, we have a break to upside, pull back, break to upside, a reversal to downside, pull back, break to downside. Potentially, we can see a break now this high. So just promote that again. So now what we can potentially draw is from this swing high. Remember, these are closed prices. We've just broken to the upside. So we've seen the market shift from a bullish to a bearish. Now we're potentially back to a bullish. So again, we would go to a price chart. We indicate what's going on here. We do have a small area of supply, perhaps here of imbalance. Let's go to the price. So we have a small area of supply. So we have an area of a drop base drop zone of supply where price is coming to. And that's why we're seeing that reaction to the downside. Now, because we broke this move to the upside, we also then create this last sell to buy move here where price may want to reverse back to the upside from and we can actually refine that to the last bearish candle you see price is pulled in we are now currently holding this area of demand we could see a push up to remove this height now if we went back to the line chart what that would look like is then another break of structure here so we'd be looking for the market to now push up from here to break this structure pull back again and continue to move higher until we broke this high here that's how we'll be looking at the structures and that's really how we'll be looking at that line chart line chart is just a very quick visual way of looking at price this is our last area of demand this is our last area of a drop base drop area supply and we also have this area here somewhere which is our last area of supply which is the origin supply that broke this structure the same here would be an area of supply around here somewhere which should have then been removed by this push up. So we just go back to price. This is how we can start combining the structure with line chart and even supply and demand zones. So you've seen how we can trade with the line chart using the structure of the actual line chart itself. Now we're looking at the actual swing points. Now if we just zoom out of this chart and we look at a bigger picture here, using the line chart, we can identify larger swings that we have a push up pull back, push up, pull back, a final push up. We then broke structure here, we pull back, we then broke lower, then we had another push up to break structure. We then shifted back lower, we have a pull back, we have a small pull back there. We then failed to go lower and we shifted back bullish. We then run all the way down, okay, shifting all the way back down to here, potential swing pull back. And we could see another continuation lower. 
So looking at a larger swing picture, potentially we could see the market swinging to the downside. So you can see how quickly we can identify that by looking at the line chart when we're zooming out. Now with a price chart or a bar chart, you're not going to see that as quickly as this. Obviously going down closer into price, we can see we're at an area of demand. But looking at a longer term view, what do we have? We have the break here to the downside. That means we're going to have somewhere here, okay, an area of supply where potentially the market may want to come back to. We did have an area of supply here that's got removed. If I just zoom in quickly, understanding the line chart, okay, we can identify where the market was making these smaller breaks to the upside. And here was a final break, okay, there. And then these smaller swings, we broke down here. That would have left an area here of supply. We then obviously broke this structure to the downside. That leaves another area of supply here. Now, if we just go to a price chart now, and you'll be able to see this. We have this actual area of supply. Okay, and an area here, a last buy to sell move. Gain here, buy to sell move. And you can see this by just looking at that line chart. This move up, break. This move up, break to downside. Gain here, we can even see this as a small area of supply. This move up to the downside. If we go back to price, there's the last bullish candle before the drop to downside. So you can even use that line chart when it comes to marking out zones, but we'll do more on that in future videos. This is really just to understand how you can use the line chart in your trading. So you can use it to mark out your structures. You can use it to mark out your areas of supply and demand. And we can even look at using it to mark out areas of imbalance. Now, what do I mean? Let's go to another time frame. Let's go to the four hour here. And again, let's go to current price. So looking at current price, where could we see and understand the area of imbalance? Well, we're looking for large moves. Here's a large expansion to the upside. That means we're potentially going to see inside here somewhere an area okay, of imbalance. And then we had a push here, a break of structure to the downside and a strong push down, which indicates we're likely going to see an area of imbalance here somewhere. Let's just go to price quickly and you'll see. So there's a big area of imbalance. Now the blue candle indicates a bullish imbalance for me and the red candle indicates a bearish imbalance. Now we just came to any time frame and we could easily see this with a line chart. See how you can use a line chart to trade. It shows you many different things. We could see the break of structure. We could see the sweep. We could see the areas of supply and demand. We can see the areas of imbalance. So that's how we look at using the line chart in the trading. Now we're going to go on to many more videos throughout this series to teach you how to use line charts. So make sure you go on to the next video coming up. And if you want to join that free Telegram group, you can join up by clicking the link coming up next.